dear learner i mr sri krishna bawkar from delonic society's baramati college of pharmacy baranpur baramati welcomes you in the session of conveying learning outcome of today's presentation is after completion of this topic my student should able to inspect total conveyor system along with operate operating equipments understand the basic operation and maintenance of conveyor systems perform basic maintenance and troubleshooting on conveyor and understand the function of conveyor components now here is a time to think and reflect that is reflection spot so pause this video and write down the answer for the question in your notebook what are the applications of conveyors in pharmaceutical industry so if you want to find out the answer for this question then we need to discuss this topic thoroughly so here we are starting from introduction part the term conveying is applied to the transportation of solids the transportation of liquids is much simpler cheaper and less troublesome than the handling solids in many operation solids are handled in a finely divided state so that they remain suspended in a stream of fluids however such a type of system is not suitable for handling all types of solids therefore it may be necessary to transport solids as such this unit operation is important in the storage and handling of raw materials finished products and packaged goods now here we are going to discuss advantages and objectives the efficient and effective objectives and advantages of conveyors are <clears throat> decreased product cost and increase manufacturing capacity conveying may decrease cost of raw materials for example penalty charges are levied when cars are not loaded or unloaded according to schedules losses due to spillage or torn containers is reduced and also it decreases processing time and conservation of energy it decreases quality control and quality assurance cost then conveying may minimize contamination and the dust formation and conveying may increased employee safety and reduced labor cost so now here is a classification of conveyors actually conveyors are classified into five major groups these are belt conveyor screw conveyors pneumatic conveyors chain conveyors and bucket conveyors here i want to clear one thing is that here we will discuss this classification very shortly because here i am planning to make individual lecture on each sub topic of classification of conveyors so let us start from belt conveyors in this belt conveyor the basic elements of belt conveyors are first is belt and belt tightening systems next is the belt drive and power supply next one is the roller support for the belt then feeding arrangement and last one is the discharge arrangement now the principle involved in the belt conveyor is horizontally or inclined placed motor driven rotating belt on a pulleys which conveys the material from feeding point to the discharge point is the very simple principle behind belt conveyor actually in this belt conveyor a belt conveyor belt conveyor it consists of core or 
the carcass which is meaning skeleton or backbone for the belt of several piles of cotton duck. Each layer is impregnated and bonded with the rubber. The carcass is then covered with a thin layer of rubber that binds the piles together. Both the ends of the belt are joined together so that the belt can revolve continuously. The belt may run horizontally or slightly inclined from the feed point. If the belt is too thin for its width, it will sag between the idlers. If the belt is too thick, it does not trough properly. Sometimes the length of belt is increased due to a variety of factors such as temperature and humidity of atmosphere. In such cases, it is necessary to keep the belt taut. Hence, tighteners are installed to maintain an even tension on the belt under all conditions. The simplest take-up consists of cast iron bed with traveling block moving along a screw. Actual operation of this belt conveyor is showing in this figure. Actually the feeding material which may passes from the feeder, uh, feeder to the discharge end with the help of belt and that belt relies on their pulleys and with the help of pulleys that belt will get revolved and material get conveyed from feeding end to the discharge end. So this is very short introduction regarding the belt conveyor. Now the next point is the screw conveyor. In this screw conveyor, the principle involved in this screw conveyor is the horizontally or inclined vertically placed motor driven screw like flight conveys the material in the trough from the feed point to the discharge point. Actually the basic elements of screw conveyors are trough system, then flights and power supply, then feeding arrangement and last one is the discharge arrangement. In this particular type of conveyor, the material is enclosed during the conveying. The trough is usually made up of sheet of steel and available in standard lengths. If a trough of more length is required, then more number of such units are joined together. The screw elements usually consist of a spiral blade, which is called as flight. This flight is shown in this figure. The simplest form of the flight is the sectional conveyor. Helicoid flight which is made up of single long ribbon that is twisted and wrapped into a spiral shape. These standard flights are welded to the central shaft. Alternatively, the conveyor element is suspended with the help of hangers along the length of the trough. Usually, one hanger is used for each flight section. Hangers contain bushings of white cast iron so that lubricant need not be used. The drive end and discharge end which are known as box ends. Drive end shaft is connected to the drive by bevel gears. Power is transmitted through the shaft to the flight. The shaft is rotated around an axis and remain nearer to the bottom of the trough. The feed is normally introduced by plain spouts which gives uniform flow of the material. At the discharge end, arrangement are made to receive the material using open end trough or open bottom trough. So this is the very short introduction regarding the screw conveyors. Now the third type of the conveyor is pneumatic conveyor. The animation which you are showing on the screen is the 
is for the pneumatic conveyor actually basic elements of the pneumatic conveyors are air supply that is the vacuum system then air slide and pipeline next one is the feeding arrangement and last one is the discharge arrangement actually the main principle behind pneumatic conveyor is when a high velocity air is passed through a bed of solid particles the individual particles are dragged by the air finally they are suspended in the air and such a system is known as fluidized bed which is described as condition of fully suspended particles in this condition the suspension behaves like a dense fluid and can be transported from one portion to another in processing plants at the discharge end the gas is separated and the solids are recovered this is the recovered the pneumatic conveyor which includes fans or cycloidal blower which are connected to the conveying system an air slide consists of a chute which is a porous base through which air is passes the path of material travel may vary from a few meters to several hundred meters conveyor mechanism can be operated for horizontal and vertical distances the material supply that is the feed is connected to the air slide through a rotary feeder valve the other end of this pipeline is connected to a cyclone separator so this is a very short introduction regarding pneumatic conveyor now next type of conveyor is the chain conveyor actually this is a very similar to the belt conveyor but here belt is replaced by the chain so let us see uh, let us see the information regarding chain conveyor this chain conveyor consists of two elements such as chain elements and the chain attachment chain elements are made up of iron or stainless steel which links are so cast that they can be assembled and detached without use of tools chains are endless and move continuously the material is loaded into a suitable container and placed on the chain these are usually constructed on the job actually the main advantage of chain conveyor is it is a cheap and simpler piece of equipment it can be adapted to a wide variety of portion so this is very short introduction regarding the chain conveyor now here is the bucket conveyor the buckets are used for loading materials the buckets are made up of cast iron or stamped steel and available in many forms flatter buckets are used for material that are sticky heavily stamped steel buckets are employed for large lumps for example coal and crushed stones the bucket are attached to a belt or chain the chain are endless and buckets are fixed between the two chains the chains are generally long pitch straight and side type the buckets are spaced to prevent interference in loading and unloading for heavier load two chains may be used the attachments are reverted to the end of the chains the attachments are slightly above the level of the chain so that the ends of the sprocketed booth do not strike the back of the bucket and the weight of the conveyor results in the stretching of the chain under load therefore tightening devices are generally provided for altering the position of the sprocket at the foot of the elevator 
So this is the very short introduction regarding the bucket conveyor. And here is the references. In this references here I want to clear one thing is that I got some information or the material from the internet and books but I lost the information on the sources. So here I would like to acknowledge the author's contribution to the science and hmm, science and here is the main reference of this presentation is the pharmaceutical engineering by CVS Subramaniam and here I would like to say thanks to my college Delonic Society's Baramati College of Pharmacy Baranpur Baramati and University Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Technological University. So thank you. Thank you very much.